Hello children, in today's class we are going to discuss a new topic Sound needs a medium for propagation So in the previous class we have discussed how sounds are produced by humans Right, usually sound travels through air that we have discussed and it is produced by a vibrating body and air is a medium that helps the sound to travel right so not only air but also uh, sound travels through many other mediums like water as well as solids so a uh, sound needs a medium for propagation that we are going to discuss uh, comparing with many different things like air water and solids we are going to uh, perform certain experiments uh, to understand how seven, uh, sound travels through these mediums so now to understand how sound uh, travels through air this activity helps you to understand a lot the very first thing that you have to do is you have to take a metal glass tumbler and make sure that our tum the tumbler is dry and what you have to do is just place a cell phone in it and after placing it uh, ask your friend to give a call for the particular phone which you have kept inside the tumbler through another uh, another cell phone and uh, listen to the ring carefully while when you while while listening to the ring carefully just surround the rim of the tumbler like how the boy is holding in his hand with your hands so if you hold it uh, like that you will be able to feel the vibration and after some time just cut the call and after uh, immediately what you have to do is just put uh, the tumbler to your mouth uh, where the where you have the opening no just put your put the tumbler to your mouth uh, between your hands and close it completely when you are closing it like this indicate your friend to give a ring again while listening to the ring you just try to suck the air from the tumbler so when you try to when you suck the air from the tumbler what happens you have to listen to the sound again the sound will become less uh, louder it will become fainter so what is the reason behind that is and when you remove the tumbler from your mouth again the sound will become very louder so what is the reason behind this the sound needs a medium to travel so when you suck the air from the tumbler what will happen the air has been removed completely from the vessel and it will become a vacuum vacuum means empty yes without any air so when there is no vacuum what will happen the sound will not travel through it so a sound needs a medium like air to travel through it so based on this concept we are going to discuss uh, many other uh, activities now let us see how sound travels through water that is a liquid so, so we are going to uh, do an activity to find out whether sound is able to travel through the water or not just take a bucket or a bathtub which is available in your home and fill it with the clean water after that just take a small bell in one hand like how uh, it has been shown in the picture so most probably uh, in your uh, home uh, uh, the bell will be available in your puja room right so just take that bell and shake this bell inside the water to produce the sound so once you produce uh, once you shake the bell inside the water make sure that the bell does not touch the body of the bucket or uh, the walls of the bucket got it so when you are ringing like this inside the water when you are shaking like this inside the uh, water just place your ear gently on the water surface and make sure the water should not enter your ear so be careful when you are placing your ear near to the water so and observe whether you can able to hear the sound of the bell so you will be able to uh, hear it for sure so this indicates that the sound can travel even through liquids so this is how the whales and dolphins will communicate under the water now you understood so we have considered two different examples how sound travels through air and water now we are going to discuss how so sound travels through solids so this you would have uh, done in your school itself during your free hours so what will you do in case if you were, if you were lying down on the desk and uh, from the other end if one of your friend tries to scratch or else if he tries to uh, tap on the desk what will happen you will you will be able to hear that sound right when you lie on the other end of the table so this represents that the sound can travel through solids also so it is not only on the wooden desk even through a metal surface or else the strings which we use so strings most probably you can see in the musical instruments like veena sitar and many other uh, instruments like violin so in all these musical instruments we will make use of these strings so with that only they uh, the sound will be produced and the music will be produced so this is how uh, sound travels through different mediums like air liquid as well as the solids 
now uh, let us discuss how we hear sound through our ears how does our ear works in the last class we have discussed how the vocal cords help us to uh, produce sound yes through the narrow slit the vocal cords even uh, we will call it as uh, the voice uh, the voice box the voice box we will call it as the larynx with the help of that the uh, sound is produced because of the vibration that pa uh, because of the air that pass through the slit right now uh, we are going to discuss how uh, our ears work so the shape of the outer part of the ear if you look it looks much similar to a funnel so funnel for what purpose we use to drop oil or to drop water into a water bottle without spilling out we will make use of a funnel right so uh, it acts much similar to that our ear so what will happen when a sound enters in it through our ear it travels down a canal at the end of which a thin membrane is stretched tightly so it, the sound travels through the canal of the ear so and what will happen it will touch the membrane a thin membrane which has been stretched uh, very tightly at the uh, uh, in, inside of the ear that is called the ear drum so that is why uh, elders used to say please do not listen to loud music uh, otherwise it will affect your ear drum and it may cause hearing impairment so that is the reason we have to because the membrane is very thin inside so if we listen to uh, very loud music it will affect your eardrum and soon we will become uh, uh, we will face the hearing issues so we have to take extra care of the ear when we listen to music uh, using headphones or any other speakers and uh, to understand how this eardrum works uh, based on an activity you can understand how it works so to do this activity you will need a tin can so this is how a tin can will look like or you can you can even take a stainless steel can if it is available in your home so uh, take a can like this and can you see in the picture it should be stretched with the rubber uh, sheet uh, if you have a balloon uh, in your hand uh, you can stretch the balloon like this but it should be stretched somewhere like how it has been shown in the picture clear and after stretching it but just put a rubber band over that so that it, it will not come out of it just fasten it with the rubber band and after that just put some four or five grains of any dry cereal on the stretched rubber band even you can use salt or sand or even you can use some grains like wheat or rice anything which is available in your home and ask your friend to speak speak something from the open end so either you can speak from the bottom like this or either you can speak or you can create some um, humming sound over here at the end of this so like this you can create some sounds near to it so when you create some sounds so what happens already uh, the sound which we produce are coming out of vibration right so that vibration when it comes in contact uh, with the sprinkles or with the grains which you have uh, placed on this balloon or the stretched balloon or uh, the stretched rubber sheet what will happen is it will start to jump because of the vibration see here can you see the rice grains are uh, jumping here and similarly you can find it over here even you can do this with the help of the cell phone or you can play some loud music in your cell phone and place it inside the bowl and stretch it over here like this or you can uh, uh, use uh, to make a call if you and uh, after doing this if you notice the grains or any kind of uh, things which you have placed on it it will start to jump out of the sheet which you have placed so it is because of the vibration so this is how our ear works now you got it so what will happen when the sound enters through the ear it is uh, it once it touches the eardrum it is because of the vibration you are able to hear that's why this uh, grains are jump up and down so see here this is how uh, the ear uh, the inside uh, part of the ear will look like so the eardrum is a stretched rubber sheet it is much similar to the stretched rubber sheet like how we have discussed in the example we have stretched a rubber sheet over the can right so it is like a stretched rubber sheet this is how your eardrum will look like and the sound vibration make the eardrum vibrate so when once the sound enters through your ear which looks like a funnel it go those vibrations enters the ear and it reaches the eardrum so once the sound vibrations enter 
center it will make the eardrum to vibrate and this eardrum what it will do is it sends vibrations to the inner ear over here inside internally it will send those vibrations from there what will happen the signal will go to the brain so that is how we hear everything and we respond to whatever others speak so this is how the ear work and uh, keep one thing in uh, mind that you should not put any sharp or pointed or any hard thing into your ear because it can damage the eardrum and this damage of eardrum uh, will uh, make you to lose the hearing capacity so that's why we have to take extra care when you are listening to some music or when you are uh, cleaning your ear so we have to be very careful i hope you understood all the concepts children thank you